Hi guys, it's Allie88 again. Um, if you guys, sorry I haven't been on for a little while again, though it hasn't been that big of a gap. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple things in a minute, but, uh, Aaron, uh, after I finish the whatever questions I have left for you, which will be, I promise will be my next video, so that means I have to go back and look at the other ones. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish, um, or ever do the think about it. I will keep them in mind. If you do still want to put qu a couple more questions down, maybe I'll do like a whole thing answering those questions. Um, to let everyone know, because of the whole new thing with YouTube and the fact that they didn't, it didn't even work with my properly with my thing, even though the slides or the using the webcam was still up at the time. I was u do, which I was only doing because I wanted to do a mic. I'm gonna use my new mic um, that I bought for voice acting wise. Um, which I haven't started back up again. Um, I, I can do that, but, so if you have a couple other things, if I haven't talked about anything in recent, recently that has been in the news or otherwise, um, but I will promise I'll, the next video will be answering the, whatever questions I have left for you. Whatever questions I have answered, my, my views still stand, um, whether, even if I might have changed them or not. Anyway, um, the next thing, oops, there we go, the next thing I wanted to talk about, um, the only new thing that's happened to me is I got two root canals done right here, um, on these two teeth because, if, like I said, my last video, something happened with traumatic thing, and if you guys want to hear about the, any, my action prone, proneness, um, comment down below, I mean, everyone has their accent stories, and actually comment down below if you have an accent story where, where you had to get some sort of a uh, surgical, I mean, surgery done, whether it's dental or otherwise, that you feel like you want are uh, comfortable with talking about. Anyway, back to my what I mainly want to talk about, um, which is going to be some new stuff that's going to be coming out in the future years, as well as uh, one other thing that I want to talk about because I the only thing I can find besides the Wikia page and a bunch of reviews on YouTube, and two pictures in DeviantArt is a book that I found on my birthday, because actually, for those of you who know me on YouTube as well as Facebook, and only those of you who know me on Facebook personally, sorry, I didn't know that the teeth, I mean the second tooth, which I was getting the root canal done, was going to actually be a better surgery, I mean surgical thing, because I guess maybe because the root wasn't all dead yet, like the other one, or because I didn't need to get numbed up twice, um, that I actually recovered pretty, I mean, pretty well within the day. So maybe it was because the other one was already dead and I was already in pain, even though it had some help numb it. Anyway, I'm gonna move this along. Anyway, um, if you guys didn't know, I besides being an anime fan sci-fi fan, fantasy fan, which, or fairy tale, I should say, fancy and fairy tale, which, like, at once upon a time, um, I'm all, as well as a horror fan, I'm also a big Marvel comic book fan. My father actually has comics, and the first time I got to actually read his comics was when we were going down to Nevada, or up to Nevada to see family, and it was right after they had the second X-Men movie out, and the thir they knew the third one was coming out soon, or in the future, couple years. Or it was when the third one was going to be coming out, and he wanted me to freshen up. So he pulled out all the Dark Phoenix and Phoenix um, volumes that he owned, as well as some Teen Titans and some other, other stuff. Um, and I got to read them. And then later on I got to read Spider-Man. And now we actually have them a little bit more closer, though it's still going to be a pain in the butt to figure out, I mean, grab. Um, and actually one of the things, so I'm going to be talking about Marvel and DC. I'm going to start with uh, Captain America, because uh, if any of you guys saw the special on ABC, with, oops, sorry, uh, the Marvel special on ABC that I think they did, or whatever channel was on, whatever channel is in your region that they showed, aired it on. Um, we, me and my dad watched it, and because of Civil War, that'll be coming out in the future years. 
Now, one of the things that was very interesting that they mentioned was when they killed off Captain America, officially, not when he was a nice, the actual, he got shot, and I guess it was in the news. My dad actually owns a copy of that little newspaper, I mean, special newspaper that they actually had, the little comic newspaper, which talks about it, and I, in the past, I've actually seen that one, especially when, right when we were having to clean our basement. Um... I guess I can't look at the time. Anyway, um, so I'm lo very looking forward to that. For you guys who take sides, I like, I like the Iron Man. I he's a good guy, but I'm gonna have to go with Tony on this. Every, which actually everybody's, I mean they've already kind of assumed, not assumed, but knew was gonna happen a lot. Most of, ninety percent of the time, most people will go with. Captain America because they feel it's right, and even if I'm wrong, I mean, you're, you are on the other side with the government and Tony and yada yada, that's your view, and it's understandable, but my view is I'm going for Bucky, Falcon, and Captain America. Um, now on to DC, um, I am very looking forward to this. Right now, my next thing I really want to see is Deadpool. Yes, I like that, even though I've never read the comics. I've only seen him on the animated Spider-Man, as well as the movies he has been in, which was just one with X-Men. I'm just looking forward to this new one, especially because of the trailer and how he's saying he doesn't want to be green or animated, I think. I don't know if it was green and animated or just animated. I knew that was one of them. I haven't looked at the trailer in a while, so I might look again. Um, so, uh, uh, if you see something shiny, I've got a band-aid on, sorry. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm also looking to forward to Suicide Squad, which will be in August. I wish it was in the summer so it was sooner, but what can you do? Um, I'm kind of looking forward to Batman vs. Superman. I mean, I'm Batman always. I've always been Batman. Superman, eh. I like him, but he's, I liked him more in Smallville, and that was it. I mean, the other, the movies were okay. I liked the animated series, whatever form, whether it was Justice League or the Superman, the animated series, which they did on WB for a long time. Um, I liked it, but I'm a Batman fan. Maybe that I should have told me what way I was going to go in viewing on superheroes and villains. Anyway, um... So, they, DC did a little montage thing talking about what's coming up in the future years after Suicide Squad and Batman vs. Superman. Wonder Woman, Aquaman, The Flash, and no, they're not using the one from the TV show, sadly, but oh well. Um, Cyborg and um, a new Green Lantern, a Green Lantern Corps. If this makes up for the old one, which, like I said, Deadpool said... I'm going to be very happy because I really did, no one liked it. I hate to say it, but no one liked it. And if you did because you're a loyal fan to those comics, that's fine. Because, I mean, we own one, I think we own the DVD too. But, um, oh well. It's like being in that Tar Last Airbender fan. If you, you hated the movie, but you'll still buy it anyway because you were a loyal fan. Or you'll just never, um think it exists. Anyway, um, the only other thing that happened was Legends of Tomorrow. So if you watch Flash and Green Arrow on TV, or Arrow on TV, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to be as sure as possible with this because I want to get to what I want to talk about. I am, I've already watched the little preview thing as well as I watched the first episode twice-ish. Uh, my dad actually and he hasn't watched Arrow or The Flash because he has no interest in them whatsoever. T is taking an interest in Legends of Tomorrow. And the fact of Ri the actor who plays Rapunzel was in Doctor Who as um the comp a companion's husband. So I mean, or Amy Pond. So I mean, or the Mister Amy Pond. I guess you could say, because she was always the dominant one in the group. Um. I would say that going from a time traveling companion's, uh, time traveler companion's husband 
to a time traveler rogue just like Doctor Who. So it's very funny, is very interesting to me. Um, I like that, I mean, I'm just looking forward to it. But right now, my biggest thing is Suicide Squad and Deadpool. Um, so that's it in the Marvel, with Marvel and DC. I'm also looking forward to when they do, um, for Marvel-wise, the Apocalypse movie for Avengers. Now, here's the last thing I want to talk about, because I've only seen one review, one artwork, and then a bunch, the wiki, wiki, yeah, not Wikipedia, but the wiki page for it, as well as a bunch, quite a few views from book lovers like myself. Uh, this is one of the, ah, sorry this is going to be in reverse, but this is one of the books I got from, uh, um, my birthday. I actually ended up finding it when I was went to Barnes and Noble to grab another book called Scarlet by from the Lunar Chronicles. So now I own all but the fair, fairest and I'm happy. It's uh Call to Zodiac by Romina Russell and it's and on the front it actually has cancer as well as the new sign that they came out with called um what's the name for him? I can never pronounce it right. And I'm not gonna try to pronounce it right because I'm a big Zodiac fan, so anything that involves the Zodiac I'm e my ears perk up once I find out about it. And yes, I have seen the Marvel book um, that Stan Lee and Disney have done called The Zodiac, and I am going to take a look at it when I get the chance. If I get the chance. Um, anyway, it's on the front is, like it says, Cancer, which is the crab sign, which actually I actually have a cousin who is that sign, as well as um, the new Zodiac sign. Now, I believe that's in between Sagitta or Sagittarius and Scorpio, and I have a friend who's literally on the verge, so I don't know if that changes her, but it doesn't. I don't think it changes my mother, nor does it change myself, because I'm a Capricorn, which is next. Um, so I, like I said, I had my birthday this uh, last week. Um, but it's a great novel, actually, where it's years in the future after where inha possibly inhabitants of Earth have left Earth and gone into these galaxies in the constellations. Now, I actually took astro astronomy. So, I mean, obviously this doesn't exist, but it would be awesome if it did, or if it could happen, even though I'm not a big fan of some of the, how you have to live on some of the plants. Um, and it's, the main character is a girl named Ro, who is on the, in the Cancer Constellation. And, there's going to be a little bit of some spoilers. And something happens where she's, She's very good at um, reading the constellations and stars and everything, which is something they do. But she and she's been seeing this weird dark shadow once in a while. And on the night of a concert, because she's in a band, um, something happens where her, I mean, because the, there are also have moons on the, around the con their planets. Uh, the four moons of Cancer collide because they are aligned and something happens so and she ends up finding out that their guardian which is like the main pre person like the person who watches over the, each constellation's inhabitants dies and she becomes the new cancer guardian which is uh, called holy mother um and i've actually looked into it before i even started reading it i looked into it and the wiki page showed as well as um their website showed uh, like traits personality wise what their what their lifestyle is now for me i'm a cancer or capricorn and i am not tall and dark well i'm semi tall but i'm not coal black and i don't think i have a ruddy complexion if you guys think otherwise comment down below um because i honestly i mean and i'm not really that short i mean i'm kind of tall but i don't have really that much of a ruddy complexion so I'm actually looking to see what I would fit in, and the fact of my personality. I can't go by personality with them because I have too many of the aspects of each sign. So yeah. Anyway, I'm almost on chapter 11 right now, and there's like 44 chapters, I think. Yeah, 44 chapters, and then the second book is already out called Wandering Star, and that's got Capricorn and Taurus on the front. Now, I know it has something to do with Capricorn, where they're going next, or Taurus, obviously. But, um, it's something you really should look up. Again, it's called, um, The Zodiac by Romina Russell, and the following book is called The Wa I mean, Wandering Star. 
Um, it is a really good read, if, especially if you like sci-fi and astronomy, as well as, like, even if you aren't, I mean, you only look at your map. Sorry, that's a little app I've got. Even if you only um, look at your mag a magazine horoscope, sometimes that can even get you interested. So, uh, this is, I mean, the end of the video. Go like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, it'll let me upload so I don't have to re I mean, do this again. And comment down below if you have an accident story you feel comfortable with telling that you had to get some sort of procedure done, whether it was serious or just minor like dental. Um, and like I said, my next video will be answering whatever questions left for the Think About It. So if you do want to, look at my previous videos for the Think About It and find the one where you're supposed to comment on and comment there because I will only be doing one more video as of right now.